What's up everybody? Welcome back to No Money Monday with Dog and Pony, your weekly showcase of games that won't break the bank. I'm Dog and Pony, and this week on No Money Monday we'll be briefly discussing four different free-to-play games. All of these games are available on itch.io and links are in the video description. The first game we'll be talking about today is the Maitre D. Libya. It's a small puzzle game originally made in 72 hours for a game jam called Ludum Dare, or Ludum Dare depending on who you ask, by a team called Sea Dads. Specifically, it was made for Ludum Dare 35, the theme of which was Shape Shifter. In the Maitre D, you play as a Maitre D, working in a snooty French restaurant. <laughs> As such, it's your job to bring each diner to their seat, and to do so, you must stretch. Oh, I say. You are too, too kind. Stretch over walls. Magnifique. And spikes. Libya. Through tunnels. And under tables. The whole game takes between 20 and 30 minutes to complete, but it doesn't save your progress so you'll have to push through in a single sitting. While the game is really enjoyable as is, it does leave a lot to be desired and I'd love to see the mechanics expanded upon further with more puzzles and of course the ability to resume where you left off. Up next we've got a game called Right Click to Necromance. It's a simple game with simple controls. Left click to move and, well, right click to necromance. It was made by a developer called Juicy Beast for another game jam called Indie Speed Run 2015 and was made in just 48 hours. You start with a small group of soldiers surrounded by a few other small groups of soldiers. Killing off an entire group allows you to necromance them, adding them to your army. Any of your units that die stay dead and therein lies the challenge of the game. It's best to avoid groups that you can't take out quickly. The smaller the opposing force, the less of your units will die and the larger your army grows. As your army grows, so do those you'll find around you. They'll of course grow in size, but they'll also grow in strength, introducing more types of units the further you get, from larger soldiers to skeletal mages and thumping stone giants in various sizes. The complexity of the game ends there, and the fun comes from growing your army bigger and bigger until, well, you die, which is kind of ironic, right? Because you're a necromancer. Our third game is Slash Quest by Big Green Pillow and Magaya. It's got a little bit in common with both of the previous games. Like Right Click to Necromance, it uses only two buttons for controls, and like the Maitre D, it was made for Illudum Dare, specifically number 34, the themes for which were two button controls and growing. Only two buttons sounds like a simple control scheme, but Slash Quest might surprise you. You can hold A or D to spin around and hold both buttons at the same time to run in the direction you're facing. Killing enemies makes your sword longer, but hitting it on rocks makes it shrink back down. The entirety of the game that's currently available can be completed in about two minutes once you've gotten the hang of the controls, and is a lot more like a first level than a whole game. I was on the fence about whether or not to include it because of this, but it is a fun and unique game that's still worth a try. According to the developer, a fuller version of the game is planned for iOS and Android sometime before the end of the year. The fourth and final game, and my personal favorite among them, is Roguelite. As the name suggests, it's a roguelite game and it was developed by Daniel Linson. If you only try one of the games we've talked about today, this should be it. In roguelite, you're in a cave with a very limited supply of light, and the deeper you get, the less light there is. You can use your bow to shoot glowing arrows that will light your path and kill your enemies. Ignite lanterns and collect coins as you travel deeper into the cave. When you die, you'll have the opportunity to buy a variety of permanent upgrades that will help you in your future runs. Things like health upgrades, brighter arrows, and a larger quiver. The art in roguelite, despite being generally hard to see, is beautiful, and the lighting effects are done perfectly. Playing this game legitimately makes me as tense as any survival horror game I've ever played. It feels like I'm walking on eggshells, and I love every second of it. I can't recommend Roguelite, Slash Quest, Right Click the Necromance, and the Maitre D enough. While you'll get more playtime out of some than others, they're all worth a shot, and I'm sure you'll find that each of them is well worth your time. Thanks for tuning in to No Money Monday. I'll see you in the next episode.